Hi, this is Deb. I'm coming to you today on this video to read you a story. It's a story that is a favorite of my grandchildren. And one in particular asks for it every time he's here. So I'm going to read it and I'm going to put it on my YouTube so that he can hear it anytime he likes. And so I thought I would invite you to join me. So I'm going to read the pages and then I will show you the pictures just as if you were one of my grandkids sitting in my lap. So here's the name of the book. Sorry, I think it's backwards, but it's called You Are Special. And it's by Max Licato or Licato, depending on where you live. So anyway, this is one of the favorites and we read it pretty much all the time. So you are special. It is written by Max Licato and the illustrations are by Sergio Martinez. And I think you'll enjoy the illustrations just as much as the story. It is written to the children and children's ministry of Oak Hills Church of Christ. This little guy here is, he's who the story's about. So here we go. The Wemmicks were small wooden people. All of the wooden people were carved by a woodworker named Eli. His workshop sat on a hill overlooking their village. Each Wemmick was different. Some had big noses, others had large eyes, some were tall and others were short, and some wore hats and others wore coats. But all were made by the same carver and lived in the same village. So, here's the village of the Wemmicks. All day, every day, the Wemmicks did the same thing. They gave each other stickers. Each Wemmick had a box of golden star stickers and a box of gray dot stickers. Up and down the streets, all over the city, people spent their days sticking stars or dots on one another. The pretty ones, those with smooth wood and fine paint, always got stars. But if the wood was rough or paint chipped, the Wemmicks gave dots. Here they are, the people you can see the stars and the dots they're given. The talented ones got stars too. Some could lift big sticks high above their heads or jump over tall boxes. Still others knew big words or could sing pretty songs. Everyone gave them stars. Some Wemmicks had stars all over them and every time they got a star it made them feel so good. It made them want to do something else to get another star. Others, though, could do little, and they got dots. Punchinello was one of these. He tried to jump high like the others, but he always fell. And when he fell, the others would gather around and give him dots. Sometimes when he fell, his wood got scratched, so the people would give him more dots. Then, when he would try to explain why he fell, he would say something silly and the Wemmicks would give him even more dots. After a while, he had so many dots that he didn't want to go outside. He was afraid he would do something dumb, such as forget his hat or step in the water, and then the people would give him another dot. In fact... He had so many gray dots that some people would come up and give him one for no reason at all. He deserves lots of dots, the wooden people would agree with one another. He's not a good wooden person. After a while, Punchinello believed them. I'm not a good Wemmick, he would say. The few times he went outside, he hung around other Wemmicks who had lots of dots. He felt better around them. Yeah. 
One day, he met a Wemmick who was unlike any he'd ever met. She had no dots or stars. She was just wooden. Her name was Lucia. It wasn't that people didn't try to give her stickers. It's just that the stickers didn't stick. Some of the Wemmicks admired Lucia for no, having no dots. So they would run up and give her a star. But it would fall off. Others would look down on her for having no stars, so they would give her a dot, but it wouldn't stay either. That's the way I want to be, thought Punchinello. I don't want anyone's marks. So he asked the stickerless Wemmick how she did it. It's easy, Lucia replied. Every day, I go see Eli. Eli? Yes, Eli, the woodcarver. I sit in the woodshop with him. Why? Why don't you find out for yourself? Go up the hill. He's there. And with that, the women who had no stickers turned and skipped away. But will he want to see me? Punchinello cried out. Lucia didn't hear. So Punchinello went home. He sat near a window and he watched the wooden people as they scurried around, giving each other stars and dots. It's not right, he muttered to himself, and he decided to go see Eli. He walked up the narrow path to the top of the hill and stepped into the big shop. His wooden eyes widened at the size of everything. The stool was as tall as he was. He had to stretch on his tiptoes to see the top of the workbench. A hammer was as long as his arm. Punchinello swallowed hard. I'm not staying here. And he turned to leave. Then he heard his name. Punchinello? The voice was deep and strong, and Punchinello stopped. Punchinello, how good to see you. Come and let me have a look at you. Punchinello turned slowly and looked at the large, bearded craftsman. You know my name, said the little Wemmick. Of course I do. I made you. Eli stooped down and picked him up, and he set him on the bench. Hmm, the maker spoke thoughtfully as he looked at the gray dots. Looks like you've been given some bad marks. I didn't mean to, Eli. I really tried hard. Oh, you don't have to defend yourself to me, child. I don't care what the other women think. You don't? No, and you shouldn't either. Who are they to give stars or dots? They're Wemmicks, just like you. What they think doesn't matter, Punchinello. All that matters is what I think, and I think you're pretty special. Punchinello laughed. Me special? Why? I can't walk fast. I can't jump. My pain is peeling, and why do I matter to you? Eli looked at Punchinello, put his hand on those small wooden shoulders, and spoke very slowly. Because you're mine. That's why you matter to me. Punchinello had never had anyone look at him like this, much less his maker. He didn't know what to say. Every day, I've been hoping you'd come, Eli explained. I came because I met someone who had no marks, said Punchinello. I know, she told me about you. Why don't the stickers stay on her? The maker spoke softly. Because she has decided that what I think is more important than what they think. The stickers only stick 
if you let them. What? The stickers only stick if they matter to you. The more you trust my love, the less you care about their stickers. I'm not sure I understand. Eli smiled. You will, but it will take time. You've got a lot of marks. For now, just come to see me every day and let me remind you how much I care. Eli lifted Punchinello off the bench and set him on the ground. Remember, Eli said as the women walked out the door, you are special because I made you and I don't make mistakes. Puntinello didn't stop, but in his heart, he thought, I think he really means it. And when he did, a dot fell to the ground. See that dot falling off? That's it. It's the end of the story. So the more we believe that our creator created us and he doesn't make mistakes and the more we care about what he thinks and less about what other people think then those dots and stars will begin to fall away and will be just as he created us to be so that's the story for today i hope to come back with more let me know if you enjoyed it leave me some comments and We'll talk again soon. And remember, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Your creator loves you very much. And what he matters, what he thinks, is what really matters. Bye now.